Hi, this is Debbie Hodge, and this is an excerpt from the MasterfulScrapbookDesign.com Inspiration Seminar. Listen in, and I'm going to show you 10 places in your everyday life that you can find inspiration for scrapbook pages, and then outline nine areas of the scrapbook page that you can apply these inspiration pieces to. The Latin verb inspirare means to blow into or upon, to breathe into. This month we're going to show you how to use things already existing in your world to blow new life into your scrapbook pages, to breathe new excitement. Using inspiration pieces is an efficient way to get your motivation going and the ideas flowing so that you can get your photos and stories onto pages in creative ways that you enjoy both for the process and the end product. Inspiration is all around you. Have you heard that said before? Sure, it's true. However, some sources of inspiration are more easily applied to the scrapbook page than others, and those are the sources we're looking at in this seminar. We'll begin by taking a look at fashion. With trends changing every season, fashion offers a long and varied history of inspiration. Home decor and interiors are another place you can find inspiration. Home decor inspiration pieces exist both where you live and where you browse. Everything from the arrangement of frames on a wall to the accent pillows on a sofa is apt to spur ideas. Crafts can inspire the overall design of a page or become the model for a smaller detail. While it used to be that you needed to wait for a live event from your local artisan guild or an annual craft fair to get an eye full of crafty goodness, the internet now abounds with images and how-tos for crafts. Type is a tool we use to make language visible. Until the digital era, typography was a specialized vocation. Creating both readable type and market-oriented eye-catching type is an art, and thereby a great source of scrapbook page inspiration. You can find interesting uses of type on many of the sources we've included here. Print materials, packaging, entertainment. You can use the type inspiration as you create your title, your journaling, even your embellishments, and it can even drive your page composition or layout. Architecture is yet another part of our daily world that can inspire your scrapbook pages. The lines of buildings and the details within them can provide inspiration for design elements on your page, like color, line, scale, and balance. Begin finding this kind of inspiration by looking at your home and then at the styles, shapes, and details in the buildings around you. Keep going by checking out architectural magazines and coffee table books, websites, and curated boards. Again, we've got lots of links in the PDF for the seminar. Magazines you can check out are architectural Digest, House Beautiful, Dwell, House, Veranda, and El Decor. Websites include Inhabit, Daily Dose of Architecture, Eye Candy, and Creatica Architecture Inspiration. Movies, television shows, books, music, and games all offer inspiration, from the packaging to the actual content of the entertainment. Movie posters and albums are great for study because they often convey subject, set tone, and even convey era through styling, image, and color. When you're taking in entertainment, look at color schemes, graphic elements, title treatments, setting, and costumes. Board and video games both offer richly rendered experiences built from shape and color that can inspire. Movies, books, and songs can trigger actual content you decide to scrapbook. Paintings, collage, sculpture, photography, digital, and other arts are fabulous sources for all types of inspiration, including color, image, mood, line, and technique. If you can't get to an art gallery, check out online museum collections and art websites. If you're not sure where to start to find an artist you might like, check out the Pinterest boards of your favorite scrapbookers and journalers and see who inspires them. Website designers strive for designs that combine image and text to make a very good first impression and then keep the visitor at the site and moving through it. Do these goals sound familiar? Yep, scrapbookers are communicating with image and text too, and conveying information and engaging the viewer. Look to websites for inspiration for your page layout, color combinations, image, and more. Take a look at two of the Get It Scrapped websites and notice how their designs are each tailored to the particular kind of information presented there. The Get It Scrapped blog is formatted like a newspaper in keeping with the goal of presenting daily news well. The Easy Scrapbook Pages website, though, is designed for presentation of images in a gallery format. Each of these layouts could be translated to the scrapbook page. Magazine covers are designed to catch the reader's eye and draw them into the smaller details. Print advertisements and posters are designed to convey information quickly and compellingly. Illustrated books contain text placed strategically alongside images. All of these make great jumping off points for a page layout. Look for composition, type, image, color, and balance cues in them. Analyze what makes a piece attractive and original. 
We've got lots of linked up resources in the PDF, and you can take a look at any magazine covers, book covers, inside magazine layouts, and some websites you can check out are Inspiration Hot Magazine, Ads of the World, and Behance Print. The best part about packaging design is that it's so accessible. You can find inspiring packaging all over the place, from your own kitchen to the grocery store down the street. Every store you go into will have some kind of packaging, from boxes and bags to hang tags and labels. Again, look to these pieces for guidance in placement, layout, color, image, and typography. Analyze them to see what it is that you like about the packaging and how it does its work well. Websites you could take a look at are The Dye Line, there's a packaged group on, group on Flickr that we've linked up, Lovely Package, and Packaging of the World. Now that we've talked about sources for inspiration, I'm going to talk about how you can apply that inspiration to the page. The inspiration that you found can be used to guide many aspects of it. Begin by looking at design elements like space, line, shape, size, pattern, texture, value, and color to see what you might lift, and then move on to what you love about the inspiration piece and what you found through a bit of analysis makes it really work. Here we'll show you how we've applied inspiration to nine aspects of the page, including design elements, layout composition, title, journaling, embellishing, photos, subject, technique, and image or motif. With a knowledge of the 10 sources of inspiration for scrapbook pages and a lot of great resources for that, as well as nine ways to apply that to the page, we're spending the month at Masterful Scrapbook Design really digging into how we can put that inspiration to work on scrapbook pages. If you'd like to check out more, come on over to MasterfulScrapbookDesign.com and get inspired.